Hi friends! Invisible increase is important in crochet, especially when making amigurumi. Unlike a standard increase, an invisible increase helps minimize the size of holes. So let's get to it. When you see the stitches from the top, in crochet, you usually have stitches that looks like a side wavy. Like that. So each of the stitches of the V will have a front and a back loop. So this will be considered as the front stitch and that will be the back stitch. To make things easier, I'm going to mark the front stitch with my red marker and the back one with the green marker. So I have marked the stitches with my stitch markers. I'm just skipping this one so there is a gap and you can see things a bit easier. So to do an invisible increase, we want to first do a single crochet in the front loop only. We want to insert our hook to the front loop only, which is the one marked with the red stitch marker. Yarn over and pull through. When you do this, you'll have two stitches on your hook. And then you yarn over again and pull through both of the stitches on the hook. So next, we want to insert our hook to both of the front and the back loop. So you just inserted the hook through the front and the back. Yarn over. You'll have two stitches on the hook. Yarn over again and pull through both stitches. So there are many variations of invisible increase, but this one is my favorite so far. So let me just show you again. Insert your hook through the front loop only. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over again and pull through both stitches. Put your hook through both the front and the back loop. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over again and pull through both stitches. So that's it. That's how you do invisible increase. Next week we'll be learning on invisible decrease. I hope to see you there. Click here to watch my next video.